Uh, what's good, everybody? Uh, this is uh, your boy ZTV. And I'm here to do a basically a response video or a reaction review kind O'Connor of to a particular YouTuber named Game Shark. Because he's obviously somebody who's um who watched the latest Dragon Ball Z movie. He's a fan of that, but you know, I respect everybody's opinion on it. You know, it's okay to have an opinion, but when you go calling people other other fan um fans of the series morons or you start saying they have, they after their effing minds and all this other stuff, like that's all that's unnecessary because game shark and before i continue here's a fun fact you named your youtube you gave your youtube name after a device that people who used to play the playstation one used to connect on the back of the uh of the playstation one in order to use cheat codes for those who didn't want to um beat the game the long way or they didn't want to um they want a shortcut if you was playing resident evil final fantasy any like Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, like any type of game that had like she like secrets and cheat codes, you could automatically unlock them and then go on from there. So you named your YouTube off of a, a, a PS1 device, which you probably don't know what that is, because you come off of somebody that's actually young. Okay, like like Game Shark. Let me explain why a lot of the um, fans, or a lot of people that you're saying are morons or effing morons, right? You saying we're stupid? Let me—they're stupid and everything, right? I'm—I think I, I'm gonna speak for all of them and say why they have a reason to feel the way they do. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, and I want everybody to listen up. This also goes to everybody that's uh, a part of that video that commented on it. All his subscribers, okay? Listen up, cause I understand a lot of y'all are younger than me. I represent the generation of uh, Dragon Ball Z fans that was watching that show since the '90s, bro. Okay. I'm somebody that's who's in his early 30s. I'm 32 years old. Okay, so I've been watching Dragon Ball Z since it, since it used to come on Toonami. And even before Toonami, I was watching Dragon Ball Z. We used to air on Channel 5, like KTLA. Yes. The Dragon Ball series, whether it was uh, Goku as a kid or Dragon Ball Z, yeah, I think Dragon Ball Z, that aired, it's the Rock the Dragon version. It, aired, it used to air on regular TV. Channel, I think it was Channel 5 or Channel 11, way back in the day. This is, was a time where they were still um, airing the one of the original Power Rangers series. Like the first five series. We knew it was actually good before I grew out of that stage. But yeah, I was watching Dragon Ball Z since, since I was a kid in the 90s. Ain't even growing up in the early 2000s. Watching it was on Toonami. It used to come on late nights. And I'm, uh, I live in California, so I grew up in Long Beach. I grew up on the north side of Long Beach so at the time. So we would get... Uh, we had Pacific time out here. So we would, uh, I would remember as a kid, I'll never get the summer of 2001. That was one of the longest, most beautiful, most funnest summers of my life. Cause not only did I graduate elementary school, but I remember it was a long summer cause I would watch uh, Dragon Ball Z late nights. This, it would come on right after the Flintstones and the Jacksons uh, went off. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I think the Flintstones aired like two episodes and it'll come on right around that time, 12 o'clock AM. In the morning, my mom would be like my both my parents would be asleep. My sister would sometimes go to bed early, and we I used to have to fight her for the TV just so I could watch Dragon Ball Z. And one of the sagas I do remember watching was the Cell Saga, that whole Android saga, from beginning to end, from when Go from when Trunks came on there and um sliced uh basically killing Frieza and his father, King Cole. Because Frieza didn't know there was another Super Saiyan. All, and then to the part to where he warns Goku of Dr. Jiro, which is part of the original Red Ribbon Army. So I'm going to show you, Game Shark, why that movie is trash, why it sucks, why Cell Max is trash. Okay? Quite frankly, because the, most of the fans that are complaining are people around my age or a little younger. The people are at least around like 20, ages 26 and up, roughly 25. I'm gonna say like the let's say like the 25s and up. People are in, they are in between ages of 25 and 40. We have a reason to complain because we saw the original Dragon Ball Z. All right, th this movie is pretty much a copycat. It's pretty much copying off what the original um series did. It's be it's basically lazy. And shouts out to uh, YouTuber uh, Kilowishes. 
Now, I'll post this link when I'm done editing this video. He basically uh, discovered that even the idea for Gohan turning white hair, that was stolen from a fanboy's page. There were some YouTubers who were dragging with these fanboys that made up theories. They create theories. And they came up with a, uh, with a final form for Gohan to match Goku's uh, Ultra Instinct. Okay? But let me get back to the point. First of all, starting off, this is where that this is where the movie fails in, right? Why do we need more Red Ribbon Army? I'm just gonna explain that now. Me growing up, I've seen enough of the Red Ribbon Army. I am somebody who's seen the entire Dragon Ball series. That means when Goku was a kid, young man, that was way before your time. And yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer to you as a young man because you're talking like you're young. Because again, you clearly don't understand what's going on. You clearly have not watched any of the old Dragon Ball Z films. And I'm not trying to knock none of these Dragon Ball Z, none of these younger folks who are fans of it. Because Dragon Ball Z is a great anime. It's one of the best animes of all time. But let's just keep it real. There's a lot of people who have not watched the original Dragon Ball Z. From when Garlic Jr. showed up. Trying to get revenge for his father. Over Akami taking the position. Winning it over over Garlic Sr., right? From the very first movie, The Dead Zone, all the way up until um, the Boo Saga. When that ended. Before GT. Right, there's a lot of people who have not they have not watched a lot of this older stuff, so you don't know, you don't understand. But Game Shark, let me break it down for you. Okay. For one, we have all moved on from the Red Rim Army. When Android 1718 killed off Dr. Jero, okay, after Super Android after Super Android 13 movie, which is another set of androids, Android 13 and 14 and 15, when that movie um came and went, right? When the entire Android saga, right? That like at Dr. Jero in um Android 19, that was that was the last, basically the last of the Red Rim Army. 17, 18, like basically Dr. Jero, Android 19, 16, 17, 18, that's that was pretty much the, the, the initial end of the Red Ribbon. As we know it. I don't count uh Super uh Android 17 as Red Rim Army because Dr. Miro comes from a different um he comes from uh he was created by Baby. Yeah, he looks like Dr. Jero, but Baby created him out of his own image. And he has, Dr. Miro, Miro had nothing to do with the Red Ribbon at all. That was somebody that Dr. Jero met in hell when they were making the, uh, making their own 17. But anyways, um, yeah. When um, Dr. Jero got killed off, Vegeta basically uh, beheaded 19 and crushed his head with him turning Super Saiyan for the first time. When uh, Cell, when the original Cell absorbed 7 to 18, that was basically the end of the Red Ribbon Army. Completely. They were died off. Goku basically pretty much took care of... Goku, Krillin, and um, Yamcha, and Bomo on them, they basically... Uh, Master Roshi and all those guys, they pretty much... Um, the original Z Fighters, they pretty much killed off the original, most of the Red Ribbon Army anyway. That means the um, the young man's father, Mata Magenta, whatever you call his name, which is pretty much weak, Right? His father, his uh, father, General Red, he, they, they were all gone, defeated. Every last one of them gone. Goku came into the, the original Red Ribbon Tower and destroyed all of that as a child. Even General Tao, well, Mercenary Tao back then, when he was, he was, basically his nickname was General Pink. Even he basically left. Left him alone and then lived, uh, started working for somebody else. No, the entire Red Ribbon Army is gone because in, in the Android Saga, um, uh, Mercenary or General Tao was pretty much working for somebody else. He left too. But yeah, that's that's it. That was the end of the Red Ribbon Army. Completely. They're gone. General Black, everybody gone. Dead and gone or in jail somewhere. Right? They're gone. So we did not need to see more Red Ribbon Army. I'm tired of the Red Ribbon Army. I had enough of that. All the video games have came out that featured the Red Ribbon Army. We don't need to see that again. Why not create a brand new, different terrorist organization altogether? You got plenty of villains to choose from. Like we, we just got done watching the Tournament of Power that had all these other Universe 9, Universe 3, Universe 2, all these different warriors, right? You could there's plenty of other new fighters you could create. Like even Dragon Ball Heroes have done a better job of creating androids. Like that one android that's blue with white hair. I think he's wearing like a red, black, and white suit. That was a better android. Because he can also transform. I think his name starts with an M. It's Moran. Or something like that. I actually have his um 
I play. I, I, uh, I collected uh, the Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Z Super uh, card game. So I have his cards at the house. But he was a better Android. There's plenty. And my thing is too. Why would you make Cell Max the imperfect form? Right? What was the What was the whole point in uh, in activating him that early? That was just stupid as hell. That was the, the, the that was the worst call. That let you know how dumb Jordan Red's son is. He has no common sense at all. Now, when Dr. Drove created original cell, perfect cell, Game Shark, cell activated on his own in his cocoon. This is how smart that cell was. Which the reason why cell mass could never be better or stronger than the original cell. Original cell came from Trunks' timeline. Okay? Basically survived the whole Basically, in Trunks' timeline, Trunks came back from the future to warn the Z Fighters of what 1718 was capable of. 1718 had basically wiped out most of Earth. Just them two alone. This is how powerful those androids was. Which tells you that Gamma 1 and 2 are weak. Completely weak. Well, I'll be honest. If 1718, Dr. Jerome's androids was to meet Gamma 1 and 2, they'll laugh at Gamma 1 and 2. They'll completely crush them. 17, 18 will be making fun of them. Why they're whipping their, why they're, why they're kicking their ass. Gamma 1 and 2 can't hold up, can't even fill in Android 17, 18 shoes. They can't. This is Android 8, that, this is 18 that broke Vegeta's arm as a Super Saiyan. He made the Prince Vegeta as a Super Saiyan for the first time look like, this just look horrible, just look weak, like low tier, just trash, like you're weak compared to me. He just made him, he just crushed that man's whole ego. Just made him look, just feel very bad about himself. Like, 18 breaking Vegeta's arm like that. Like, come on now. Gamma 1 and 2, they, they, those characters are weak compared to, those, compared to the original androids. I'm just be honest. They're like, they're like scrawny. They're like nerds compared to those two. Like, 17 could pretty much body both of them on their own. Like, even 18. Like, 18 went back then when she was working with, with when, uh, Dr. when she was first activated before she turned good and married Krillin. Oh, she could take both of them on by herself. The Z-Fires, when they first saw 718, they were no match for them. Not even Trunks. In Trunks' timeline, it was a two against one. Let me, let me just explain all of this so people can understand. And, you know, I got all the time in the world. You know, I just got out from work, working a, um, a long, like a long day shift at my job and everything. So I'm out here on the 105, and everybody that's, uh, that lives in California knows the 105 gets backed up. So... I got all the time in the world. But anyways, so yeah. Uh, Android 18 and 17, they were badass. Now 16 was the only one out of those th two uh, out of those three that were kind hearted. No, 16 wasn't that ruthless like that. Matter of fact, in Trunks' timeline or his future, he, he was never even activated. Because Dr. Drove mostly all uh, focused on 17 and 18, but that's who Cell needed to absorb to become perfect. And this is what makes Cell Max trash. He can't absorb nothing. His tail is closed out. Like, again, this is how stupid that movie is. The scientist that uh, Magnina, uh, Magenta hired, that dude, that Jim Red son hired, that guy is retarded. Okay? How you make Cell uh, Max's tail that can't even absorb nothing? The original Cell could actually absorb human bodies and use them as his strength. And boost his power up even more and just become stronger and stronger within time. As the Android saga developed, Cell just got stronger and stronger and he got smarter too. Even Cell in the second form was able to um, talk Vegeta into allow him to absorb 18. Matter of fact, Vegeta could have. This is how weak the. Because um, Cell Max is basically modeled from the original, uh, from the um, Cell second form, which is imperfect. That's why they call him perfect because it's still weak. He's not strong enough yet. Vegeta, when he fought. Cell and Cell second form Vegeta was fresh off the hyperbolic time chamber Him and his son Trunks So they were already top at max form Vegeta literally had, was talking about the same ancestry and, ancestry and became Max power And was just toying with Cell I mean beating, I mean breaking him down Like Vegeta could have easily Big Bang that Cell And killed him, matter of fact when, when, um, when Vegeta did the final flash Had Cell been in the second form And Vegeta did that Cell the second cell wouldn't have, um, wouldn't have survived at all. He wouldn't have been gone completely. Like Vegeta's fire fast was equivalent of Gohan's Kamehameha without the uh, father and son. Without Goku um, helping him. Vegeta's fire fast could have wiped cell, um, 
sell, the imp imperfect sell out completely, he wouldn't have gone. That's what Vegeta really wanted to do. If Vegeta really wanted to be a dick, he could have killed off Cell completely. Then challenged Goku in a rematch. What happened to him when he had a scouter, when he was still working on the Frieza? He could have done that. And tried to ring and collect all seven Dragon Balls and made himself immortal had he went that route. But he was too in love with Boma then for that to have happened. So that yeah, man, like, in, like they made they made the weakest form. So not only is Gamma 1 and 2 weaker than 17, 18 by far, even Super 17, like, come on now. Gamma 1 and 2 are nothing compared to Super 17. The, the android that Dr. Um, Miro and uh, <coughs> Jerome made, far better than that, um, than that Cell Max. I believe Super 17 will body Cell Max, without a doubt. Like, all he has to do is choke Cell Max and absorb his energy. Like, Cell Max, I'm, I'm sorry, man. He's terrible, dude. That's just like trash. He stood no fight against. Now, Perfect Cell. I'm gonna tell you right now. Perfect Cell was so strong. Let me tell you everything that Perfect Cell did. All right, let me break this down, Game Shark. Because this is the reason why we have a reason to complain. I'm gonna show you why Cell Max is not powerful than Broly. He's not powerful than Bears. Again, that's all just like Cap, Max Cap. Perfect Cell. When he absorbed. Android 18 for the first time that was again. I remember watching that that was epic Seeing him transform there was nothing nobody could do about it. Trunks couldn't break through that at all. He was that much power We had both androids inside his body transform for the first time That was epic That was one of the greatest transformations in the series and seeing him going to his perfect form for the first time Again, that was like a masterpiece that was just that was perfect cell. Perfect cell couldn't be touched. Krillin, nobody could touch him. He was like perfect. You couldn't even land a hint on him. Trunks tried his best. Now Trunks could have gotten Trunks was giving that cell a run for his money. I'm not gonna lie. But the problem with Trunks is that he tried to boost up in his Broly form and didn't know how to regulate it. This is how smart a uh, perfect cell was. Cell told him, "Yeah, I can easily bulk up in that form too." But you're no match for somebody who has some type of speed. So Cell automatically knew that being that big doesn't always work. It don't. You need to be agile. Okay? That's why he needed 18 to complete his form because he needed agility. He needed speed. Cell Max is way too bulky. I'll be honest, man. Cell Max can't even catch Gohan in a head of fight. Let's just say if this is a drawn out fight and. Gohan, as an adult at his age, would have been like he was when he was a kid. Because even um, Teen Gohan, Gohan, when he was 11 years old, he was touring around with Cell. I'm be honest. Gohan was having so much fun with his power, right? Being stronger than his dad. Having everything on the show is that he got kind of cocky and was toying with Cell. Just playing around with him. Instead of just completely, because even Gohan could have completely wiped Cell out, but Cell manipulated that. He used that to his advantage. Again, Dr. Dro made perfect Cell very smart. Every cell of his body had a brain of his own. He could adapt. And he had the ability to absorb other people's moves that he absorbed. Anybody he absorbed, he absorbed, he basically took on their abilities. Purple Cell had the abilities of Piccolo's regeneration. So it was very hard to destroy him. Okay, very hard. It was a struggle getting rid of him. On top of that, he had TN's um, tribing. Not only did he have TN's tribing, he also had um, the ability to um, multiply himself like TN did. So he had TN's techniques. He uses Krillin's Destructo Disc. He even had Frieza's uh, Purple Disc. <coughs> Excuse me, that could wipe out anything. Okay? That it touches. Goku was so strong at that Super Saiyan 4 that he, uh, he literally caused Frieza to get killed off by, get sliced in half by his own attack. Yeah, Cell had that move because Dr. Jiro was taking pictures. He followed Goku and he had cameras, machines followed Goku throughout those entire battles. And was developing Cell throughout there. So even Cell in his first form, right? In his insecto form. I'll call it insect because that's what it is. He's basically an insect. Right? He had the abilities of Goku when Goku was at KO Ken. Because that cell could automatically learn, had already learned to command Maya. So again, go that cell had perfect data. But again, Cell hashed on his own. And throughout the entire series. He worked his way until he found 718, but he's just getting stronger, right? So again, he had the command man, TN techniques, try beam and all, right? Except he don't have he don't have to worry about um 
Like the problem with Tien is that that tribe being takes up all his energy. Cell don't have those weaknesses because again, Cell can keep regenerating. Cell don't get tired as easily. Cell can easily adapt and bounce back. So he had all that going on for him. Ain't even learned Goku's instant transmission from when Goku blew him up. Cell literally, everybody thought Cell that Goku killed him, right? Cell literally regenerated in space and came right back to Earth. So how in the hell is Cell Max better than that Cell? Explain that, Game Shark. Or oh, let me guess. You didn't watch the original series, did you? Okay. Again, y'all, like this man, this YouTuber did not watch the original Dragon Ball Z at all. Okay. So off the top, bro, you roam several times. Okay. Because even then, man, even in Kuila was uh his YouTube, right? That I watched uh today when he was reviewing um that movie. They could have did a better uh, job with the animation anyway. Right? They didn't have to keep doing uh they have to keep doing the same thing they've been doing with the movies. They could have had that in 3D. But that's beside the fact. Right? But yeah, but getting back to perfect sale, yeah, man, like um Cell has all these abilities. The, the 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 key to basically using the original on um, form is to make it better, is to improve it. If you go use somebody's uh original design, when you come up with that same design, you gotta improve it. It's like when people make uh make a this like when people sample a Ron a, like a um a Ron Isley track, right? A Michael Jackson track. They use that sample, but they make it better and they improve it. That's why you call it remixes. They could even they you could even choose a better design for sale. Like create your own sale. Why you have to take the imperfect form? This is how, again. Those scientists are dumb as hell. Like they're they're stupid. They they can't figure it out at all. Instead of taking time and creating a brand new Android, entirely different, you try to make the same one, and then this is how stupid it was. You pretty much release them. Before it's even time Like who does that You might as well Take the death Take the L And just wait Buy your time off Until he's perfect Then release him then Catch everybody off guard Let a new A brand new Dragon Ball Z art A brand new um, Season develop Where perfect cell As pretty much That cell has become perfect Right Gavin 1 and 2 are defeated He becomes perfect And start terrorizing The Z fighters then Why don't you do that They could actually did that Man but that shows you people are not like um like these writers they're they're clearly lazy. I'm gonna tell you that now. I don't like the movies anyway because these movies are pretty much remakes of the original villains. There's not enough original villains in it. Cause for you to have for Tori for Toriyama, right? And Funimation and Crunchyroll for them to have created and developed the whole tournament of power. You introduce us to Zamazu, which was pretty good. That's like the only other saga that made sense. Because he's a completely different villain. For us to go through Zamazu and Goku Black. Which is a clone of Goku but with pink hair. Which I actually like. Because again he's completely different. But Goku he had his own techniques. He stood out. For us to go through all that. But then we got a, a Broly, another Broly movie. Come on now. And even that Super Broly. Broly and Dragon Ball Z Super is not better than the original Broly. Because the original Broly is not meant to have feelings. And even that super that was super Broly movie, but Gogeta at the fight at the fight against Broly, that was better than this movie, by far. I'm sorry, but Cell Max is trash. He's garbage, annoying as hell. All he's doing is yelling. That's it. And yet people complain about villains not having enough dialogue. He didn't have no dialogue neither. Like y'all, this, this is what I don't like about these this younger generation. This is the reason why the movies like Broly, Bardock. Turles, Dr. Willow, even Garland Jr. This is why those movies are not canon. Why those movies don't even exist in the timeline. This is why Super 13, right? Bojack Unbound. This is why those movies don't count because the younger generation, Game Shark people your age, never seen it. They have never seen those movies. They, were, they weren't around in the 90s. In between 1987, right? 1988. Because Dragon Ball Z was created around 87 or 88 or 89, around there. And they went around in between 1988 and like 2005. They weren't around to see none of that. They weren't even around to see GT. And GT was developed right after um, Dragon Ball Z in it, which was around 95, 96. Okay? So, I'm just letting you know that's right now, bro. 
This is why we're all complaining. So while you cussing these people out, right? You going at these fans, trying to say they just they just whining, right? We this and we that. It's because we seen the original. We want something different. If you're going to come up with a Dragon Ball Z movie, come up with an entirely different villain. This just shows you how lazy Toriyama has gotten. Like the developers of his team, like it was up to me. To be honest, I will fire everybody after this movie. The whole team got to go. I will, literally, I will actually recruit brand new writers. I'll go out there and scout YouTubes of people who actually care about Dragon Ball Z and have created decent enough theories and hire them to actually create me uh, and write me new villains. Like, come on now, we're, we're beyond the Red River Army. We're beyond the androids. Why can't we have an entirely different archetype of villain? Why does it got to keep me in androids? I'm sick of that. I done seen enough of the androids. At least when Dragon Ball Heroes, which is not even a real series, as though they say, at least that had better androids. They had Fu in there. Fu is a way better villain that you could have did a movie. Matter of fact, the first like 20 episodes of Dragon Ball Heroes, when Goku and Vegeta um going to that um that warp, when Fu bring them into that dimension, and they battle Cumber and Hearts and his um his creation, because Hearts created two characters that are like androids that are mixed in with truffles. Even that was good and decent because they transform into a bulked up creature that's better than Cell. Hearts that Goku battled was better than, than this. Matter of fact, Dragon Ball Z Heroes should have been a movie. Like I said, the first 20 episodes when they when they find Trunks and they find out that Trunks has been time patrolling, right? And they battle and they they go into Boo's uh, Fu's uh, laboratory. That's way better than this movie. And even Fu, Fu was a scientist, but he's way stronger than the scientist that uh, developed Cell Max. Like that guy, that scientist can't even fight at all. No, Gamma One and Two, they're nerds compared to the original androids. Like, an even Androids 14 and 15 will mop the floor at them. Like, 13, Android 13 is way better than Cell Max. Yes, I said it. Way better. Because he could actually transform to a Super Saiyan like Android. But, was, but when once 14 and 15 were broken, their chips came into that man's body and he boosted up. Oh, no, even Piccolo. Piccolo to an orange. That's actually, um, they copying that. They got that from the Incredible Hawk. The Incredible Hawk has different forms. He has a red form. That you've seen in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And he has an orange form. Which um, Capcom, when they uh, when they were um, working with Marvel. Making all those versus games in that series. They brought in Orange Hawk. Yes, the Incredible Hawk has other forms. And one of those forms is orange. And if I see the, if I look that up in the comments, I'll show y'all. I'm going to do a separate video of Spade Piccolo. Because Marvel actually has a case. Both Capcom and Marvel can actually say that. The, that orange piccolo is, is copying off their character. I'm gonna tell you that now. Uh, piccolo turning orange, that didn't make sense because you had Lord Slug's movie, which was a super new mechanic that could turn into a giant. Yes, you had a movie called Lord Slug, which Lord Slug could turn into a giant. So there was no need for Piccolo to turn his skin orange. Like, what the hell was that? Like, come on now. Why can't he just keep, stay green? But him turning orange, broken up like that, you're copying off the off Orange Hawk, off Stan Lee's creation. I'll be honest, man. They better hold Marvel, anybody from Marvel or Capcom that work and develop the Orange Hawk character and had him in those video games. They better hope they don't watch that movie because they could actually uh, that could be a potentially lawsuit. That's that's a potential lawsuit because Piccolo is green already, but he turns orange. Orange is a super form. When those that played Marvel vs. Capcom 1, not 2, but Marvel vs. Capcom 1 like I did, I had that on PlayStation 1, matter of fact. One of the secret characters of the game is Orange Hawk, which is a souped up version of the regular Incredible Hawk with more speed. He's booked up, he's super. That's where they got that from. So this tells me that this movie here was just taken from different stuff they seen from the media. It's not original at all. Nothing about it. Again, in Dragon Ball Super, Super, you gave us Goku Black and Zamazu. You could have done better than this. Way better. Again, the people who did the dub for uh, Dragon Ball Heroes, they should have been hired to do, the, do another um, do a movie. Because Hearts, Fu, right? That dark evil android I just told you about earlier that's blue, right? 
Those could have been characters for the movie. Those villains. Those villains are so strong that even Cooler had to team up with Trunks. Even Cumber, right? That Dark Saiyan, he was way better than Cell Max. Cumber would tear him apart. Go watch Dragon Ball Heroes if y'all don't believe me. Matter of fact, that's what I want everybody to do. Everybody that's watching this movie, that's watching this um this film, that watched Cell Max, if you watch the Cell Max movie, whoever has watched this video that come from Game Shark's um video, go back and go watch the whole Android saga, the original Dragon Ball Z, and go watch the Android saga. Go watch Cell when he appears. And go watch the part when he's in perfect Cell and he's trying to find Android 18. And go watch how annoying he was in that entire saga. Annoying as hell. Weak, right? Even um, TN was beating him up with that tri -beam. The problem with TN is that the, the tri -beam drains him, but TN was smashing uh, that cell. Cell just tired him out, but even TN was beating him down. Like, come on, man. Like, like it, it, it don't make sense. It's just, it's terrible. Again, bad writing, terrible writing, just lazy. That's all it is. It's just they're, they're, they're being lazy. They have no ideas. Which tells me they need to, some of those guys need to retire. Or it's not the original um, people that when Bruce Falconer was doing the music. Even the movies back then, most of the Dragon Ball movies back then, like the legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the first Broly movie had an actual soundtrack. You had actual artists like Slow Roosevelt. Okay? Haji's Kitchen. They recorded their music. They had actual soundtrack vocalists making music for those movies. The Cooler movie, Cooler was a bench, had an actual soundtrack to it. Okay? The Deltones, all these famous bands of the early 2000s and the late 90s, right? They actually did the soundtrack to those movies. What made those movies what they were. Even the Geneva movie. Geneva, far better villain than uh, Cell Max. I'd rather them do a remake of Geneva. Janimba, way better. Far better. And anybody who disagrees with me, you never sell that character at all. You never watch, you're too young to be trying to debate me. So Game Shark, consider this a debate. I'm calling out everything you said. In my opinion, that movie is trash, garbage. I'm not paying a dime to go see that in theaters. I'm glad I didn't spend a movie because that would have pissed me off. I would have been angry out the entire theater movie. Everybody would have had to, they would have to tell me to, they would have to kick me out of there because I would have been complaining and talking throughout the whole, whole movie. That's how bad that movie is. That's how trash it looks. Gamma 1 and 2. Come on, man. And then, this is the problem with these villains, too. I'm going to explain this. This is the problem with Dragon Ball Z Super as a whole. Broly? The new Broly? Plus this uh, Gamma 1 and 2, they all got feelings. You make these characters to develop feelings and compassion. That's not supposed to happen with most villains. With most evil characters, most of them are not supposed to have feelings like that at all. Most, you got villains that are supposed to get right to the point. This is the problem with Broly. Super Broly is weak compared to... The original Broly is, is better than him because the original Broly didn't have no feelings. He didn't have no compassion. His whole life was hard. That's what makes that this duo Broly weak. The fact that he's even teaming up, training with Beerus is weak. Because the original Broly don't need to train. He was already powerful. He's already strong. He was massive. He's bodying everybody. Even Gohan as a uh, as a high schooler had a hard time battling original Broly. Now Bar Broly was weak. That's why we compelled Sa Cell Max Jr. to the Bar Broly, because it was weak. So that's what I just want to get out. That's the one to get my point across. Game Shark. So why are you cussing at everybody? You calling them stupid and dumb. Why is everybody complaining? Now you know why. Because Cell Max, Gamma 1 and 2 are nothing compared to the androids at all. Perfect Cell. Like a Perfect Cell would have had a chance to come back like Frieza did. And actually see uh, Cell Max, he will, again, he'll be laughing. He'll look at Cell Max as a joke. And again, Cell Max wouldn't be able to touch. He wouldn't even, like if Cell Max was to start hitting uh, Perfect Cell, Perfect Cell would just stand there laugh at him he wouldn't be able to scratch cell like perfect cell cell max wouldn't be able to scratch perfect cell at all perfect cell is that strong the original cell it was a struggle to defeat him goku had to actually use um uh, use um uh, king kai's power to communicate telepathically and try to transform himself 
onto the battlefield spiritually and help Gohan with that father son command mayor to get uh, Perfect Cell out of there. Because Perfect Cell was going to destroy the entire earth. So don't ever in your life, this this goes for everybody. Don't you ever say that Cell Max is stronger than uh, that Perfect Cell. It don't make it don't make an ounce of sense. It's just it's beyond. That don't that just like that's like come on now. Now you trolling. I don't want to see nobody do that. Does anybody do that? I'm gonna question your IQ. That means you're not a real Dragon Ball fan at all. You're just not. That whole movie was a waste of money. I'll be very honest, man. People who paid to see that movie, you wasted your money. That's a movie that you wait for it to come out and you see it for free. I'm not going to pay for that movie on Hulu or Netflix. It's not even worth paying for it. That's just with something you rent just to watch if you're bored. And I, and I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that the, I wouldn't even buy the toy. The Cell Max, the Cell Max toy, that's weak. It's not even worth being a toy. It's ugly. Now the red and green, I don't mind at all. You no, know, that's fresh. But you, you could have created a brand new Android. At least create a different cell. There's other ways you could have uh, made cell. You didn't have to make them exactly like the, uh, his original second form. That was, again, man, it, it's like, why? He can't transform. He can't absorb Gamma 1 and 2. So what's the point? He's useless. If you can't fight, go hunt. If you, like, he didn't put up not a single fight at all. Again, we didn't really get to see Gohan's true potential in that form. Yeah, and I watched snippets of that, okay? There are people who have leaked some of those, um, those parts of that movie. Like, we, like, you don't, it's like not enough action. It's like, man, like, ugh. It's, it's a, it's a travesty. It's a disgrace. That's what it is. But anyways, y'all, that's the video. No, I didn't want to spend, you know, said over 37 minutes on this um video, but I had to explain that off the top because people like Game Shark, they don't understand. The only ones who actually like that Dragon Ball Z movie are people that were not around. They weren't born in the early 90s. I'm gonna tell you that off the top. These are people that were born in like 1998, 99, and beyond. These are people who are like 18, in between 18 and 23. That Game Shark, you probably are. Why you calling everybody morons? Yeah, I like good anime too. You know, I watch uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. I watch uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You know, I watch One Piece and all that other show and jump stuff that comes on. But I enjoy good creativity. I enjoy originality. Dragon Ball has went through too many villains throughout the entire series, right? Even like Omega Shenron, someone like that would make sense. The Shadow Dragons. There's too many other ideas that you could come up with. Again, we're, we're beyond the androids. The Red Ribbon Army don't need to come back. That was a waste of time. Like, do something else. That lets you know, man, Toriyama is just either he's getting old or these are not the original writers. These people are just lazy. This is a lazy generation that just want to get paid to just not give you 100% effort. That means they didn't even take time and even come up with a good villain. Like, you couldn't even come up with a different sale at all. Out of all the ideas you could have used, you came up with that. That's why that movie is this movie is weak. That's why I'm saying it's weak. Okay. The fact that you wasted all those years, wasted money too, because putting movies out like out like that cost a lot of money. They wasted millions of dollars. Now they of course they getting the money back, but it's like you disappointed a lot of people. For to get the money back and disappoint that many people, it wasn't even worth it. That means you getting paid to just piss people off. I'm gonna be honest, Dragon Ball Super is ruining these my childhood villains. I actually had the to, I had to actually, actually had the toys. I had sales toy, man. Like, come on. I had the action figure and everything. I had trunks. I had Gohan. I had both Gohan with the cape and him without the cape. I had all these toys. I had like three different Gohan toys. Like, man, I had the Goji. I had all these Dragon Ball Z toys. I have all these video games. I played the whole Budokai series. I played the Tenchikaishi series, right? I played Rage of Black. I played all these Dragon Ball Z games, including Up to Fighters. So we've seen enough of the, the androids. We've seen enough of Cell. It's time to create brand another villain entirely. This is why I like the original Dragon Ball Z, because the original Dragon Ball Z had good ideas 
he knew how to write villains and keep that that game that, that series fresh. And even then, Super Seven like Android Android Seventeen is not even in this movie. You got Manjin Boo. You got all these other Z fighters that you could have used for the film. You don't need to keep having Broly on there. You really don't. Right? Like, what was the point in that? Like, it's just like, come on. And Cell Max didn't even last long at all. Like, it was just like, ugh. Like, really, man? Like, that's it, man. You know, that's just my take on it. Whether this is a rant or not, that's just what I want to get off my chest. And, and Game Shark, this is why I responded to you too, because for you to insult people like that, man, like, come on now. What makes you better than us? Right? You, I understand that you like the movie and you defend the movie, but if you're going to defend the movie, don't insult the fans that are complaining about it. Don't insult us, right? Don't make, don't, don't, um, don't cuss at us, right? Don't use profanity to insult us because this makes you look like a dick. And you're somebody who don't understand why, like, before you go and do a video like that actually ask questions ask around go do go look at other reaction videos see why we feel the way we feel before you go off talking the way you did because it didn't you, your video don't make an ounce of sense because I just explained to you reasons why that movie sucks but again man you got everybody got their own opinion but don't use your opinion to try to talk down and talk trash to other people that feel a certain way because again, like that movie is again, I'm gonna say it again, that movie is trash. It sucks. That was just a waste. That was a waste of time, basically. That lets me know that the, the writers of, of the Toriyama animation, and I hope you all listen to this video too. I hope this video goes viral. Y'all please help this video go viral. Funimation, Crunchyroll, and the and the, the, the writers, the people who work for Toriyama animation, they're all lazy. They've gotten complete lazy. They're running out of ideas. That tells you it might be time to end the series. Because you could have done better than that. In Dragon Ball Z, we had Janimba. We had different Saiyans. Right? Broly, we had original Broly that was a Super Saiyan, but we had Turles. Right? The Tree of Might. Garlic Jr. We had all this creativity. We had the Ginyu Force. Then with their crazy poses and shenanigans, right? We had all that going on. Manjin Boo. Boo having different forms of him. Fat Boo and then spin himself up into Evil Boo. And the evil boo <clears throat> reabsorbing fat boo and making the super boo like that was creative. And then having GT, having Super 17 coming to hell fused with a creative 17. That was originality. Baby Vegeta, that was creativity. That was how you do anime. Any one of those villains could have been a movie. Even Baby Vegeta is worthy of a movie, to be very honest with you. What, uh, what Baby did as a truffle? Give revenge for his people getting wiped out by Saiyans. That was classic. I'll take any. I will take Omega Shinron, Super Seventeen, and Baby Vegeta over to Cell Max in any day. And yes, those particular villains would would basically body out. Would basically defeat Cell Max. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Even then, people say that GT is not even canon. Like man, like please. But y'all, that's the video. I've said enough. I said all I had to say about it. Now, you could disagree if you want, but if you disagree with me, please explain why you like this movie. I would like to hear. I'm curious. Why do you like this new Dragon Ball Z movie? Why do you like Cell Max? Please explain to me. You know, is it, I, wanna, I would like to know, is it the color? The fact that he's red and green? The fact that he spoke up like that? Because this is... They could have done better than that. Like, I'm just... Y'all yo, got to understand. I'm, I'm an OG Dragon Ball Z fan. Right, I've been watching Dragon Ball Z since I was a little child growing up in the 90s in Long Beach. I've been watching it for a very long time. I know about every single character there ever was. So I've seen better villains. But I'm curious. Tell me why you like that movie. And if I'm wrong, please break down why I'm wrong. And you better give me, you better be logical too. You better give me actual like facts. If not, I'm going to embarrass you. If you can't come with something, and please don't troll neither. You trolls, please stay out that this uh by comment section. I'm going to tell you off the top. If you're somebody that's going to cuss me out like Game Shark was doing this video, and you're gonna, somebody that's going to call me like a fag, right? I'm gay because I disagree with this, this trash, this, this monstrosity that was just released. 
And I don't like the fact that people have wasted money and wasted time. And I don't like the fact that us Dragon Ball Z fans deserve. I don't like the fact that you did us like this and we deserve better than that. Please don't insult me. Keep if you're gonna do that, don't even um, comment on the um, video. Stay gone. I just appreciate you viewing it. You can leave a dislike if you like, but if if you really like this movie, explain why. That's all I ask. Video is all. That's the video, man. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you feel like. Um, and as always, stay blessed, stay tuned. I love you. See you soon.